Hard to believe today, but in medieval times, evil was thought to be everywhere. No more so than here in the small village of Troston, in the heart of East Anglia. Locals, like the rest of the country, believed the devil stalked the land, causing chaos and death. Neighbor turned on neighbor. People thought the whole world was going to hell. It was all pretty grim. So much so that people believed that the church alone couldn't save them from this evil infecting the earth. Troston's village church, St. Mary the Virgin, is a perfect example. It's been here since the early 1300s. It's an ancient Suffolk church, as I understand it. There's superstition written literally on the walls. Look at this, you can see a, a handmark there. Is that a date? There's loads more inside. I don't know why I'm whispering. Inside the church, the walls are covered in strange symbols that I've never seen in a church before. Matthew Champion has spent years studying this curious graffiti. Hi, Matt. Sorry to disturb you and your... What, what are you, rubbing the pictures? I'm doing tracings at the moment, so yeah. what we've got is an acetate here. We are laying it over these inscriptions and then we're just marking them out. So how long have these inscriptions, bits of graffiti, how long have they been here? Uh, well, we've got a complete mixture on the wall here. Some of this is dating back to 14th century. There are hundreds of these scratch marks scraped into the walls, and they have a very creepy name. Are any of these what they call witch marks? There are a number of these markings in here which a lot of people do call witch marks, but that's really misnomer. These are what we call um, ritual protection marks, uh, or apotropaic marks, and they're actually designed to ward off evil. So if anything, these could be regarded as anti-witch marks. Anti-witch marks, yes. Yeah. If we go and look at the chancel, you'll see the whole area is absolutely covered. So let's go and have a look at that, shall we? Yeah, over the end. But what could they be protecting themselves from that justified defacing their own church? It might help if I actually draw this one out for you. Yeah. OK, I mark out an eye there. Take it around there. We have a nice bulbous nose sticking out there. And then we have a big open mouth out there, full of sharp teeth. And then right there, we have a big lolling tongue coming right up. It's like a scene from a Hammer horror film, a sinister presence in the house of God. So why is there an image of a, a demon in church? Um, in the Middle Ages, demons were very, very real. Um, demons were what brought misfortune. Uh, demons were what suddenly, um, you know, caused your cattle to drop dead. Mm. Demons were what sudden, brought sudden illness or caused sudden death. Yeah. Um, you know, demons were part of this world. Yeah. The interesting one about this is you'll notice that right over the top we have this pentangle, this five-pointed star, yeah. and you see it's much deeper than the demon has been inscribed. It's almost like it's been gone over time and time again, and it sits directly on top of that demon, pinning it to the wall there. Right. Essentially, it's taking away its power, and it's trapping it here. So it's acting more like a demon trap. 